Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me. All of my steps from skincare to makeup. So get a cup of coffee, get a cup of tea, sit down, and get ready with me. Uh, ew, that rhymed. I did not want it to. Gross. Alright, so today we are going to be doing my full routine. And I've never really done a super in-depth start to finish with my makeup routine included, so I'm going to do that today. So I just woke up and I'm going to quickly tone off any of my skincare products from the night before with a cotton round. I don't like washing my face in the morning, it's not necessary. Overwashing can strip your skin, so I'm gonna take a pad. This is the Peter Tom, no. Yeah, these are the Peter Tom Roth amino acids and peptide exfoliating pads. I use the soft side, so I don't use the exfoliating side. And I'm just going to remove whatever skincare I had on from the night before. And I usually give myself about two hours in the morning to get ready, eat, watch some shows, and then um, not need to rush in my walk to work, so definitely is not a short routine, but it's one that works for me. So I'm just removing any skincare from the night before, throw that in. And then I like to do a mask before I do any of my skincare, so I'm going to take the Naturally Serious Hydro Plump, um, the Hydro Repellent Mask. So this is a really nice creamy formula. It does have some clays in there, so it's going to absorb any excess oils, but it's very hydrating, so it's not like your typical clay mask that's going to dry down. It will not dry down, so that's one thing to be aware of. The very first time I used this mask, I kind of sat there forever waiting for it to dry. It's not gonna. So you really just want to spread this evenly around the skin. In this time, I will usually get my clothes ready for the day. I'll make myself some breakfast if I have time or if I remember to. I'm gonna let this sit in and then wash it off once it's fully absorbed and done, and then we'll continue with the routine. Okay, so I just removed the mask. You can see my skin has a nice glow to it right now. It's smoothed out, had a little bit of puffiness, which I usually do when I wake up, which has subsided, so we can continue with our next step. I'm gonna then go in with the Caudalie Vino Pure. This is a really nice toner. It has some exfoliating acids in there, um, willow bark extract, there's green tea, salicylic, so it is great for my acne prone skin. I don't use a cotton round when I apply toner just because one, I don't wear a lot of makeup, um, especially right now with quarantine, and then two, they're just so wasteful and not environmentally friendly. So I just skip it and just pat it into the skin. And because it is day, I'm going in with my vitamin C serum. This is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C. I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. I do much prefer the Drunk Elephant um, C Firma or the Peter Thomas Roth. There's just a lot of other vitamin C's that I like better. I really like the vitamin C and collagen line from Dr. Dennis Gross as well. And I'm just mixing that with a little bit of the niacinamide transdynamic acid from PTR. This is amazing. My skin has changed since I started using this. Niacinamide is a great ingredient. It does a lot of different things, but mainly it's helped even out my skin texture, diminish pigmentation, and help water retention. So absolutely love that ingredient. And I just do a little bit of both, mix those together. And then I'm just patting that into the skin, pushing upwards. The vellus hair on our faces grows in a downward motion, so the hair follicles are pointing down, so you want to push up to get all the skincare underneath them and into the pores, if that makes sense. And then I will now go in with an eye cream. I don't particularly like eye creams, I don't really think there's a point to them, but there are a few that do work. For example, the Lipid Barrier from Skin Fix. I'm not really using this so much so for wrinkle diminishing or dark circles. I feel like your serums are going to target that more than an eye cream, but the Skin Fix Barrier Plus line is a really interesting line that was formulated in a way to help protect our lipid barrier, um, support it, and rebuild it if it's been damaged. So this I mostly use just to fortify the eye area and keep moisture in, and I'm just going to tap it around the eye. This is a 360 lid safe cream, so you can bring it on the lid. I don't bring it all the way to the lash line, but right under the brows, a little bit on the smile lines. And now for moisturizer, we're trying a new one out. This is the Beauty Counter Counter Match Adaptive Moisture Lotion. It's very, very light. It's great for or uh, normal to oily skin. It has a lightweight, almost, I don't want to call it a gel texture, but it kind of feels like a gel moisturizer. So I'm just going to lightly apply that on the face, avoiding the eye area because we already put that eye cream down. 
And then I'm going to apply the same steps on my neck. I do my neck separately. I'm really weird about bacteria. I don't know. I feel like even though I cleanse my neck, there's just stuff on there that I don't want to get on my face. So I'm just going to take my vitamin C. I don't do the transdynamic acid and niacin in my treatment on my neck. I usually will skip it and then do like a nice retinol or something like that at nighttime for my neck. So that's all I'm doing for that. And then I'm going to top that with the moisturizer. Just one pump for the neck. Make sure to get the back and always apply upwards. All right, so we have a nice glow going on. And now we're going to do our final step, which is SPF. So SPF is super important. I feel like a lot of people either skip it or just aren't using enough. So you do want to use about that much, a decent amount. I'm probably actually gonna use a little bit more. And then I like to add a little bit of the Coconut Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. This just has a really pretty glow to it and some good ingredients that help hydrate. Uh, and then for moisture, or SPF, we're using the Murad Oil Controlling Pore Mattifier, Broad Spectrum, 45 PA++++, plus 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 plus, four pluses. And I'm just gonna mix that together, kind of stamp it around the face, SPF is Really important, so I want to make sure I'm getting it everywhere. And then I'll smooth it into the skin. Make sure you get the ears. And then whatever's left, I'll go on the back of my neck, especially. And then I'll rub the rest into my hands and my arms because we do not want wrinkles on our hands. Hands and neck is one of the first places where we see signs of aging, so don't forget about them. All right, and then after that, I'm going to let this soak in for a couple minutes and then we will move on to my makeup routine. Um, I don't wanna apply my makeup directly on top of this and have it maybe be too tacky, so I'm gonna let this sit in for about five, 10 minutes and then we'll resume. All right, so that has been about 15, 20 minutes of that soaking in. I'm now gonna begin on my makeup. My routine has been <laughs> so minimal lately, guys. It's just really easy for me, uh, and I like it. So I'm taking first my La Mer uh, translucent powder. This is in the shade medium 30, medium 3.2. I can't tell anymore, but it's this guy right here. I like this powder because it has a little bit of coverage to it, but not a ton, um, and I'm just setting the under eye area, anywhere where I'm going to be applying eyeshadow next, just to make sure that that area is not tacky. Um, I don't really use eye primer, so I don't want to make my blending process any more difficult than it needs to be. And I'm just setting the center of the face where I tend to get a little bit of shine. I'm then taking my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. This is my go-to. I use it pretty much every single day. And I'm gonna start off mixing these two shades down here. That is Faith and Lockout. And I'm gonna start right in the outer corner, start building that shadow, defining the crease a little bit, and then blending that shadow upwards. Same thing on the other side, starting on that outer corner, Depositing most of that color there before you carry it into the um, inner corner and then moving your brush back out to the outer corner and winging that shadow upwards towards the corner of the brow. So you can see it got a little spotty right there and that's because that area was a little bit wet still, um, but that's okay. Then I'm going to repeat that same step on the lower lash line, connecting to the outer corner, same thing. Cool. I'm then gonna take the purple kind of aubergine shade right in the top right hand corner and do the exact same step. But I'm not bringing it into the um, inner corner as much, keeping it more on the outside. Cool. Same thing. And then I'm gonna bring that by itself on the lower lash on in the outer corner. Cool, eyes are pretty much done. Now I'm gonna do my brows and we're using the Urban Decay Brow uh, Double Brow, Double Down Brow. <laughs> it's a duo powder. I really only use the dark side though, but that's okay. And I'm using a flat 
Tacline Short Liner Brush from uh, Crown and Royal, or Royal and Langnickel, and I'm just going to define the lower, um, the lower part of the brow, the bottom of the brow, like that, and then pick up a little more to define the top, and then extend the tail just ever so slightly, and then with a little bit more I'm going to go in the front. And that's pretty much it. Cool. And then lastly for mascara, I'm taking my Huda Double Ended um, Legit Lashes Mascara. I really did not want to like this, mainly because I'm not a big Huda fan, but it's, it's actually a really good mascara. So I'm taking the volumizing side first. Let me zoom you in. The volumizing side first. I'm really making sure to coat every lash. Cool. And then I'm going to flip and go in for the length and defining side. And this will really comb everything out. And add a lot of length, definition, and this formula, I believe, is the curling formula, so it also will shrink as it dries and pull the um, out, like the point of that lash inwards, so it'll help pull that curl. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Skin looks awesome, brows are simple, eyes really quick. This was a seven minute tutorial. That is about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really have been getting more into skincare again lately. Makeup, not so much, but I want to do some more skin videos coming up because I know there's a lot of questions about routines. When you see someone's routine, you're like, oh, that's what they do every night. Usually, no, that's not the case. We switch up products, so I want to go more in depth with that and help you guys formulate a routine so that you can know what products and what types of ingredients you should be using and when. So yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe if you liked this video and hit that bell and give me a thumbs up. Make sure that little thumbs up turns blue. Well, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. It's going to be a review on a CBD line, which I'm really excited about. I've never done a review or tried out products like these before, so it's going to be something new for all of us. And that's about it. I will see you all in my next one. Until then, bye ya.